हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट वेरिएबल्स व्हाट आर वेरिएबल्स ओके सो लेट्स गो एंड डिग अप डीप इन दिस वेरिएबल टॉपिक एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू कैन से एज फ्रॉम द नेम आल्सो नेम सजेस्ट दैट अ वेरिएबल इज अ क्वांटिटी दैट वेरीज ड्यूरिंग द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम ओके इट दिस वैल्यू इज नॉट फिक्स्ड इट कैन वेरी आल्सो एज पर द यूजर डिमांड और द डिमांड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम बट you can say that variable is also a memory locate it's a location in the memory of a computer okay where the entire information is stored or it can be retrieved okay let's take example we have already studied the variable data types or the data types in java from there we can recall that if i take a variable type int a and let's put int a is equals to 15 here so what will happen if this is my computer memory in this computer memory um, i will right it here also this is my computer memory in the computer memory here 15 will be stored somewhere and what a will do a will point to 15 and whenever someone says let's i have a system dot out dot print ln written here system dot out dot print ln so whenever i will say print a what will happen the computer will look for a and it will say hey a tell me what are you storing or what are you pointing to so you can see that a is pointing to 15 so we will get the output here as 15 very simple and easy okay so you can say that variable is a location in the memory of a computer where the information can be stored or can be retrieved because first i stored the value in a and then i displayed so the value was stored and here i retrieved that value so as simple as that let's dig up deep into the variables because we have some fundamentals like how the variables have to be defined you can define variables in any way first we need to see what is the syntax exactly of the variables okay so you need to see the syntax in the syntax what is say that first you have to define what is the data type of that variable like what type of data is it storing then you have to give some space after that space then you have to tell the variable name any variable name you can give it's up to you it's a user choice and then variable name after that if you need you can give some value if required okay and then just put a semicolon let's take an example let's take character type okay i define the character as a data type then i will take the variable name let's take the variable name as um let's take it type as the variable name or types and then let's give a value capital a so this is my variable types that is pointing to a so what will happen in the computer memory let's have a look here a will be stored and it will be referenced by the data type or by the variable name as types okay so let's have one more example if i go for some double value okay let's take double g is equals to 10.18 so what will happen in the computer memory let's again recall this entire picture it will be 10.18 being stored here and it will be referenced by a variable name as d as simple as that okay you can define any variable with your own data type that data types that we have of primitive data types that could be char byte short int long boolean and many more okay and then you just have to give your own variable names variable names before giving the variables name you need to know that there are some rules for the variables name you can't give any variable name as you wish the first rule says that what the first rule says to me that only two symbols are required that is underscore and dollar are can be used in your name like for example i can give a variable name okay so let's give a variable name as x underscore name so this can be a variable name and then let's define it as int equals to 10 so it is perfect or rather you can give it x dollar name so it will also work but if you go beyond this like x at the rate name it will give equals to 10 it will give me an error it will say hey how how is it possible to go for this at the rate because in my computer it has or my rules are defined that i can use only underscore and dollar only and no more than that so make sure that whenever you are going for your variable name you can use underscore and dollar and then you can have your digits also like x1 is equals to 10 it's perfect okay so you can use digits and alphabets also and make sure that the alphabets can be in a capital a to z or it could be small a to z as simple as that and second you can say that space is not allowed 
okay space is not allowed you are not allowed to have space in your variable name okay and then reserve words are not used as the keyword okay reserve words you can say just give me a second i have just erased this spelling wrong yes reverse words reserved words are not used reserved words cannot be used as variable names and then you cannot add space we have already been discussed and the variable names cannot begin they should not start with a digit okay with a digit you cannot start with a digit or a number you cannot start just have a look on these rules and we will just have a practical implementations whether i was saying it correct or not so let's go for it okay so let's take another very easy variable uh, int ch is equals to 10 is it perfect let's see whether it will run or not oh great it run matlab it was it was correct after this let's go another put some name as 1ch and i will have an error let's see yes you got an error because this is not allowed as i told you in the rules that the variable name must not begin with the number and we put number 1 here but if i put after ch then it's perfect it will display it you can see 10 has been displayed okay i have to save this program first and then i have to put ch1 here and then it will perfectly run you can see 10 has been displayed here and if i put uh, underscore between ch1 it will run perfectly and let's write here ch1 and underscore and our program ran perfectly after that instead of this you can put dollar also not an issue you have to just put the replace dollar here also and i gave dollar after this you just have to compile it it ran perfectly okay so but let's give a space between them and let's see we will have a error or not and definitely we will have an error and yeah an error displayed because you cannot insert a space spaces are not allowed okay and secondly you need to know one thing is like okay let me put it on the whiteboard itself very easy concept that if you put char ch let's take int only int a equals to 10 and in the system dot i will put this here and here we have taken int a equals to 10 and instead of a i wrote here capital a okay so it will be wrong why it will be wrong because in java java is a case sensitive language so upper case and lower case means different so if you are using a variable name in in lower case so make sure you write here in lower case only and if you write in lower case you will run it and we got successful that's it all about variable naming i hope you like this video and let's meet in the upcoming video stay tuned